Today we're gonna to try and replace this broken LCD laptop screen. This is the HP 15-BA094NA. Hey name tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech. If you're new here on this channel, I wanna help you develop a better relationship with technology. So consider subscribing and click the bell icon to go from newbie to techie. And please use my Amazon affiliate links in the description below to help out the channel. Now with any laptops, before you consider replacing the screen, you need to assess whether it's monetary worth it and you need to check whether the laptop is still working. So one of the easiest ways to do that is to find out if your laptop has got a port for video out. And in this case, we've got a HDMI here. So what you need to do first and foremost is connect this laptop to an external monitor using a non-working uh, cable. And once you've turned the laptop on, it should in principle come on to the external monitor. In that way, you can proceed for the next step. If it doesn't, don't always assume that the laptop is not working. There are other tests to do, but this is more complicated. This is for a different video, all right? So I've already tested this, and I know that the laptop works because it does come onto an external monitor. And if you want, at this stage, you can try and log in to your laptop and try to recover some files before you attempt any repair, which is recommended, but not always necessary. I'm pretty confident with this repair, so I'm going ahead with the next step. Now, what you want to do is to remove your battery. Okay, always do that and make sure you're working on a surface which is non-conductive and always take your precautions for static discharge and obviously if you're not sure please consult a professional. Now whenever you work on a laptop always disconnect the battery and then press and hold the button for turning on for about 30 seconds and that will discharge any static electricity. Okay, now for this model you do not need to remove the back cover because these are one of the easiest models to replace a screen. And this front bezel will actually come off. It's just plastic and it's clipped on. There's not even screws on this particular model. You can use something like this spudger or any other spudger. Be careful, these are quite fragile. They're plastic, they're not even good plastic, they're cheap. And so try to find a groove when you can start undoing the laptop and it will clip off okay it might be a bit difficult at first but if you're very gentle very careful you should be able to get this open now press the laptop as far out as possible it doesn't go all the way down flat as you can see we've started to remove the bezel already okay so just work your way around very carefully be careful not to break anything don't apply too much force and hopefully that should come off there you go now, this bit down here might be a bit difficult. Just take your time and get, you know, screwdriver, whatever it is. Be careful. This is where a lot of people will actually break this little hinge. This is just a plastic cover, so be very careful. If you need to, turn it over and work from the other side, which is down this end as well, okay? I've already done this, and it does come off very, very easily. There we go. Now, I would suggest you do this first before you order a laptop replacement screen the reason is because if you just type in the model number of the laptop itself you might come up with quite different uh, laptop screen replacement parts so the better thing to do is to go into the actual lcd part itself to find it at the back so for that we need to get to it it will eventually come off I'm confident don't rush it take your time okay it will eventually come off if you're very careful and since this LCD screen is already broken, so I'm not too worried about busting it. But make sure you don't break the hinges. And here we have it, finally managed to remove this. There are four tiny screws to remove, which is going to be one, two, three, and four. You needed a tiny Phillips screwdriver, and it would do as long as it's small enough. And I've already removed it. At this stage, after you move the screws, be very careful. Just pull your screen down, okay, and rest it on the keyboard because we need to disconnect the cable, which is here, okay, which is usually taped down. And then all you need to do is to peel it off and then pull away from you. Be very careful, all right? And that's the main connection. And here you're gonna find that there is a part number you can look up. 
So what I tend to do is to take pictures and take note of the part numbers. And when I get in touch with a seller on eBay or Amazon or whatever it is, I send them these details and I ask them whether their screen will be compatible with this. I would advise you to do this to avoid getting the wrong screen because sometimes what may happen is you can get the right reference number for the actual laptop, but it would be the wrong pin connection, okay? So make sure you do that. And I've just ordered the replacement on eBay and it cost me about 30 something pounds, which just came today. So we're gonna to try and replace this. Now, it's always advisable to check the part number before you replace it to see whether they match. And more importantly, to check the connectors, whether they actually match. That seems to be okay. Now, before you remove any plastic cover protecting the new LCD screen, I would advise you to just connect the cable so that you can test it before you start screwing things back together. So push in your pin until it clips. And then what you're gonna wanna do now, before you screw anything back, just turn on your laptop, whether it's through your charger or your battery. I would advise charger. Here's a quick money saving tip for you. If like me, you haven't got the original laptop charger anymore, you can get yourself a universal laptop charger like this one from Powseed, which I bought on Amazon. It's about 20 or 25 pounds. Amazon link below. And I've also done a review on the channel. So go watch the video up there. Okay, charger plugged in. Let's turn it on. Hopefully, it should come on can hear some movement and I've got something on the screen so I'm quite happy with this obviously at this stage if you want to do a full boot up that's up to you but as long as I've got a display on the screen before the boot process I'm okay with it I mean if you want to enter the whatever BIOS or setup you can do this at this stage you can see the HP logo, so I'm quite happy that this should be working. I just turned up the display setting. As you can see, we've got a user logging screen on there. So that's all good to go. Switch off and now we're ready to put the bezel and the laptop back together. After you've screwed the screen back on, you can now peel off the plastic cover and then clip your bezel back on, which should be really simple. Start with the bottom hinge, just find its position and then you can just clip it around and that is one of the easiest laptop screen replacements on these type of models so it might be worth when you buy a laptop to find out if the repair or disassembly is actually easy okay now the next thing you may want to do if you're anything like me is to see for these kind of laptops whether they can be upgraded and luckily for us at the back, I'm just gonna show you quickly that we've got some screws. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that one here is to remove the DVD tray, which has already removed. And then once you remove all the screws, again, get your little spudger and work around so you can remove the back cover. And once the back cover is removed, you have access to the internals of the laptop and taking a quick look, I can see that potentially we could upgrade this laptop. It's got a normal hard disk drive, mechanical. It's got one slot free for RAM. We've only got eight gigabyte here. I'm not sure what the CPU is. I think it's an i5 CPU, what generation? And obviously we've got a space for the DVD drive. So you could potentially upgrade the RAM. You can uh, replace this with a bay a DVD driver in which there is an adapter to connect another hard drive and I've done a tutorial on the channel you can watch it up there today we're going to upgrade this standard 15.6 inch laptop which has got a normal hard disk drive of one terabyte and we're going to add an SSD like this but instead of replacing the drive I'm actually going to add this as a secondary drive to put the windows on there and we're going to do this by first removing the dummy DVD drive tray and we're going to get ourselves one of these hard drive caddy for laptops which are going to stick our ssd in there and after i show you how to remove the back cover we are going to be inserting this you can also upgrade this to an ssd and then have uh, your normal hard drive in there if you're not going to use the dvd drive possibly we could also upgrade the cpu although when you upgrade a cpu it might not be worth in terms of this cooling, but we'll see. Now, I might do this upgrade in the future. If you want to watch this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, my name is Ash. This was Hill My Tech. And on this channel, I'm trying to help you develop a better relationship with tech. So please consider subscribing so you can go from newbie to techie and click the bell icon not to miss any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out my other awesome videos on the channel and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, peace out.
Let's go.